This is Shoot from the Hip. Welcome to not an episode of Shoot from the Hip. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Story Time with Brian. Oh, is what yeah. we're calling this. I think yeah. is that yeah. what we're calling this. Lance, we're, we're calling it that. Yeah, yeah Story Time with Brian. All okay, the way. With Here's Grandpa how, Brian. They think I'm so old because I'm like four <laughs> years older than they are. That. I deserve to tell them stories around the campfire. Pretty much. I mean, <laughs> yeah. we, we look to you for wisdom yep. and knowledge and things like that. Well, I've had a kind of unusual... I don't know about wisdom. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, I would tend to agree, yeah. A lot of <laughs> foolishness, but not much wisdom. Yes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes good, uh, good po- podcasting material, maybe. So, um, let me ask you this. Have you guys ever thought you were going to die? I mean, like, legitimately thought the world was coming to an end not that the world was coming to an end that maybe i would die i don't know if that ever came to mind i was definitely yeah. in like some like frightening situations but yeah. not like where i was like i'm gonna die I, i've had times where i was like so sick i wish i would oh yeah, yeah i've never been like oh yeah this is it this is i'm, I'm so, done yeah you don't have to go into a lot of detail but i mean what like what are you talking because this Matt? isn't story time with lancer no <laughs> no <laughs> but, i'm just um, i'm just curious no yeah. I, i've been in a couple like bad car accidents yes yeah, i remember you telling me that yeah uh one of them uh, my brother lost control, and we, like, skidded off the road, hit a pylon, hit the front of a pylon, and went sideways and stuff. But I Whoa. guess ne- what never came into my mind was, we're going to die. Every time, I remember, you remember a lot of details in a yeah. car accident. And what I always remember is where we're going next. So I remember, like, facing the edge of the road and being like, like we're going off. <laughs> 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 no, I, I, was like, I was like, we're, we're going off the road. Yeah. But I don't, I don't ever remember thinking... We might die. Yeah. That, that just never came to mind. Wow. Yeah, there's only been um, two times that I can recall in my life that I was for sure I was done. <laughs> so one was when I was little, flying, we were flying, I think, between Amsterdam and Moldova, and we were crossing some mountain range, and the plane, small jet, just dropped, like, I forget, a few thousand feet or something. Okay. Yeah, that's And the terrifying. stewardess screamed, like, you know, my drinks went into the air <laughs> nice you know, so yeah that, that was scary that's terrifying yeah, but, yeah. let me tell you did it pop compa- <laughs> down like a bunch of like masks and stuff no or the mask that even in there? no i think that only happens in the movies that because that yeah. what triggers that is like low oxygen yeah sensor. yeah fair yeah. enough yeah mm-hmm. anyway so that was scary but the story i'm going to tell you today it's it's my favorite story to tell people <laughs> because it involves explosions uh wachovia <laughs> me and my underwear <laughs> Oh, and, right. <laughs> <laughs> and the best part is no one gets hurt um, that I'm aware of, and I look like an idiot. So, you know, it's, well, it's, a, it's a win. Normal day for Brian. So, September Uh-oh. 30th, 2006. <laughs> and the date's important. I'll tell you later why. <laughs> but at this time, I'm a college student um, going to Georgia Tech. I lived in midtown Atlanta in a small, very small I don't want to call it a house. A shack is literally the best <laughs> yeah. description for it. Okay, to give you some... A hovel. <laughs> yeah, I did. This was a janitor's shed that the guy had converted, this janitorial staff or whatever, converted over to an apartment. Wow. And Man. there were no windows. It was a single door. But they turned it into two bedrooms and a <laughs> two bedrooms yes, a tiny <laughs> two bed there okay. were milk in it man okay it was a bad apartment probably but it was a great janitor's closet yes. <laughs> yeah that, for real. I mean, well this this, ho- this hotel or whatever um it's like condominiums but it was huge right yeah and back in the day it was very old this was used for, i guess like the staff you know the help whatever you want to call it and you know they, they converted that into you know, small living quarters. And so when I applied for this um, living place, I'm like looking for a, a place to live. And land is very expensive. Midtown's expensive. And I'm yeah. looking for a place. Hey, I want a bit of walk to to school, and I see the address. I'm like, oh, four hundred dollars a month for a two bedroom with a kitchen and a bathroom. What a deal! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I go look at it, and you know, it's not that bad. But you know, at that point, you're not picky. Right. So would get it but it was just it was just a hole in the wall it was horrible i did get a roommate um also it was infested with rats so mm-hmm. yeah um it was 
backed up to the kitchen of this condominium complex or whatever. <laughs> and there was a cafe there and everything. So you yeah. can literally hear the rats in the walls just scurrying. Oh, that's disgusting. All night. Nice. I would have to tuck a towel under my door seal at night to keep them from coming up oh. in my bedroom. <laughs> So Whoa. before I it's realized there was an infestation, yeah, um, I would like leave food on the counter and just go to the bathroom or something, come back, my food was gone. And I kept <laughs> blaming my roommate at the time. Whoa. And he was like, no, man, I'm, I'm having it too. So one day we just sat there. And I like I am not exaggerating. I had a plate of spaghetti, put the plate there. Within like a minute, a horde of rats came and d- cleared off the plate. Wow. The plate was uh, full of rats. Like I just got chills from it disgust. It was horrible. That's rough. Oh. So we started buying traps and all this kind of stuff, and we were going bankrupt because we could not afford. <laughs> we were catching ten, twenty a day, and it was not making a dent in it. Oh. We put like steel wool and all the holes. You, you made know nothing. those stories about way back in the day when they would like pay you to catch the rats or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Like that would be the ideal oh. situation. <laughs> and these rats were like skinny, and they had these really long hind legs. Oh, they're just weird looking. Ugh. Oh my! Goodness. I've had a roach problem before, but never a rat problem. That's so. That's this this bad. was a this was a hole in the wall. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> You know, at the time, I was working uh, full-time, going to school full-time, and I had to work at night, so I wouldn't get home until, like, you know, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning a lot of times. So I'm very, you know, delirious and very, you know, I don't know, not completely sane because I'm lack of sleep. <laughs> so that's that's also important, and you'll see why. Another thing, I'm not that observant. So my <laughs> wife will attest to this. We'll have, like, something on the fridge you know, she'll have it on there for months, you know, about something we're going to go to or something. And then, you know, be that day, you know, you, know, you ready to yeah. go to so-and-so? I'm like, what? She's like, how do you not know? It's been on the fridge for, <laughs> you know, two months. I'm like, well, I just go to the fridge to get stuff. I'm right. not reading what's on the, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. So anyway, so. Let me get Basically, to the, uh, it's a yeah. trash can with magnets. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> One other thing that happened to this, um, me while I'm in this apartment, we were, me and my roommate at the time, we were sleeping, it was like one o'clock in the morning, and um, he came and got me, he's like, hey man, I think uh, I think somebody's stealing your, your motorcycle. Because at the time, I had a little oh, yeah. scooter, mm-hmm. and that's how I get back and forth to college. But, yeah. Um, it was a tiny thing, so I could ride on the sidewalks and everything. So, uh, we go out there, and sure enough, there's like these four guys backed up their car, or their van, and they were loading up my motorcycle, I'm like, they're just like right there. And they just, what you going to do? And then one guy lifted up his shirt and he had a gun. All uh, right. Yeah. 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 I'm like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> you win. <laughs> so anyway, just, you know, just a, a hole in the wall. Oh, by the way, when the cops came to take the report, um, African-American cop, my roommate, who was an idiot and no other way to put it, when he was describing the guys, he described them in a very racial <laughs> derogatory. Uh, and I'm like, what are you doing? And as soon as he started using that language, um, you know, the cop who's taking the notes just stopped taking notes. He's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, <laughs> close yeah. it. I'm, like, oh, I'm never getting my bike back. Oh, yeah, I never what a jerk. Things. So anyway, um, September 30th, uh, well, actually September 29th, I came back um, to my hole-in-the-wall apartment. What time was it? <laughs> this was um, We're getting maybe, real specific. yeah. It, no, it was late. I mean, early. Well, I guess it was September. At eleven oh five on September the twenty ninth. <laughs> it was. It was. It was early in the year of our Lord two thousand six. <laughs> it was. It was um, early in the morning. Um, yeah. And I n- don't remember noticing anything out of the norm mm-hmm. on my way back to the apartment that night. Yeah. You know, just tired, just go in. My roommate wasn't there. Um, close the door, go in, just go straight to bed. Well, okay, fall asleep. The next thing I know is I hear the loudest explosions I've ever heard in my life. And these are not the ones that you hear so much as you feel them in your chest. Yeah. Uh-huh. And it was like a series of explosions, like boom, 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 boom. So let me tell you, this is September 30th, right? This is 2006, so it's not yeah. that far after 9-11. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> not only that, but that year um, they had a 9-11 like, memorial thing at Georgia Tech. They made a big deal about it. Mm, yeah. So 9-11 is fresh on my mind. Yeah. So I wake up to these explosions, and we 
first thing I think, that sounds just like 9-11. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, so. Oh, oh man. man. I'm in my boxer shorts. I'm just, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Only thing I'm thinking in my mind is I got to live, right? <laughs> it's just fight or flight, you know. You know, I did have the time to put my shoes on because yeah. I was thinking, I'm not going to run through glass and stuff and be able to, you know, I need to be able to run. So I run out and grab a golf club because that was my only weapon of choice. <laughs> okay, so boxer shorts, shoes, and golf club. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So at this point, I had just made it to the door and, like, all this happened very fast, you know, the boom, 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 boom. So as soon as that happened, you know, I was up and pretty much out the door. Again, it's only like five steps to the front door. From yeah. my, <laughs> from my, and like as soon as I make it to the door, just this very loud crashing noise. Um, I mean, just like earthquake. Oh, God. You know, and I was for sure the world was over. I mean, for sure. <laughs> Red next, <laughs> yes. Next, what happens is this plume of soot and silt was just in the air and it engulfed my um, department, and everything, and I was just, you know, blind. So I'm confident at this point. Right? There's no other explanation right. other than the fact <laughs> that, you're that gonna die. <laughs> I'm going to die. There's been a terrorist attack, right? I'm going to kill some terrorists with my golf club right? yeah. <laughs> so i start booking it you know trying to feel because you you could not see anything yeah at least there was no one there because you would have <laughs> murdered somebody <laughs> I, dude if there was anybody there they were taking a club yeah. to the face uh-huh. i mean i'm half asleep yeah. you know you can't see anything i'm mm-hmm. breathing this soot um and then i hear what i am sure is screaming of pain and torture uh-huh. i hear all this ah, oh my god ah, like just hundreds of people ah, you know, again, the only explanation is <laughs> that people yeah. are dying, right? Yeah. They're jumping out the buildings, you know, yeah. the world's ending. <laughs> and oh, then man. I hear like your moment. This uh-huh. is it, dude. You know, we all live to a point. Yeah. And this, there was no holding back, you know, yeah. Yeah. you know, there, wow. you know, n- never crossed my mind that I should have more clothes on. <laughs> or that, you know, this is literally, yeah. you know, just do whatever you can to stay alive. So, again, I hear all these screaming. I hear, the, you know, all these people. And then I hear some sirens, you know, like police and stuff. I'm like, you know, just all, it yeah. all comes together. So I keep finally make my way out of this plume of, of smoke and debris. And I see around me hundreds of people with their cameras. <laughs> looking at me like I'm an idiot and also like what is this guy doing running out of this cloud of smoke I'm still delirious at this point so so like like so do you think you made it on video that's what I've looked at like four or five of these videos and we'll share this video there's um um well, we'll get into that a little, little bit later, but yeah, yeah, okay, it's a continuous. I'm, I'm sure there's probably me on some video. Yeah, and it would be awesome if I found it, <laughs> like yeah. you in your underwear, your shoes, holding and a my golf, golf club, club. Yes. my nine iron, <laughs> like the, over my like <laughs> striking pose ready. I'm gonna take somebody out, okay? <laughs> Running as fast as can, you know, making the death face, right? Um, so and then yeah. I just run into this this crowd and I'm just like I am so confused at this point yeah. I just went from a terrorist attack to people laughing and smiling is this the world's biggest prank <laughs> right or yeah, what? Yeah. How, uh-huh, how, yeah. how how does you explain this so come to find out <laughs> this was a planned demolition so how uh, did you find out let me, let me ask that question yeah. I, I talked to some people because I asked what was going on. Well, I think they actually approached me and like, were you in there? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and they're like, well, that's crazy, you know. And then I asked them what was happening. And it was a, it was a planned demolition of the Wachovia building um, in Atlanta on um, <laughs> so September awesome. 30th of 2006 on 615 Peachtree Street, right, you know, right beside where I, where I used to live. <laughs> and apparently they had evacuated all the surrounding buildings including mine um they had posted signs for like months yeah they had like posted a notice on my door they yeah. had taped off the area oh man and i missed all those somehow you got back to your room 
Did, so did you go back to your car and find like a uh, caution tape that j- was ripped off of somewhere? <laughs> that you had, well, see, my car at that point through? was not even there because it was parked on campus. I just had this little scooter that had just got yeah. stolen. <laughs> so I was walking back and forth. Yeah. And the way you I just walked under the tape. No, no. <laughs> I found this little shortcut that went between my building and the big oh, building. Man. Right? That was tiny. You could barely fit through there, but it would like save you from having to go around a whole block. Okay? Right. Yeah. And I could get right on Ponce and go down Ponce and get right on North Avenue. Yeah. So anyway, um, so they did not take that part off. <laughs> That's awesome. So <laughs> So, you know, I'm covered in soot and talking to these people <laughs> and they're so confused. I'm so confused. And Man, was was I embarrassed? Um, you That's know, it's great. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, they, they had they had planned this de- demolition. It was a like a 15 story building. They had taken down to the ground. You know, the, they take it out down to these first explosions, and they take out the main columns, and the building comes down. But we'll post a video, and we'll post a picture. Um, I've got a Google Maps picture of where the demolition happened and where my apartment it is, and it's right beside it, which it doesn't exist anymore. There's a parking deck there. Now, Probably a good thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, Destroy that building. <laughs> um, that by far was the scariest moment of my life. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, that's that's pretty terrifying. I mean, <laughs> but also I'm I'm gonna get on YouTube. I'm gonna search long and hard for the yeah, video. I was gonna say if like, anyone we're gonna has do some footage, deep searching. Here. Yes. Oh yeah, because this video here that you know that I was looking at, um, yeah, they're pretty far away from it, and they they made everyone go a long way away, but uh. I was right in the thick of it, man. That's awesome. <laughs> you were the closest man to this demolition you by know, far. Yeah, maybe I can sue somebody. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, money. I think it's a little late. <laughs> it's yeah. traumatic event. Yeah, it's like, it's just PTSD. now <laughs> it's come out. <laughs> I mean, man. honestly, that's that could be horrific. Uh, like, actually, you're... could have been. Could have been could worse have been than it was. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know. There weren't wasn't any actually debris or anything that hit my right. apartment. You know they they do a really good job of like putting like the chain mail or whatever the nets up. Yeah, but, uh, thank goodness. Man, it was, it, was <laughs> it was scary. That's so good, Matt. Do you have any like stories where you were horrified and just scared to death? Other and than I was in my underwear and your underwear with and... a golf club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I so. Mean, I mean, I have one. It's nowhere near as terrifying as that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, like, I don't know if I could ever match that story at all. But like, I uh, I remember I was I was my senior year of high school, and I was driving down the road, you know, going down the highway. It was like a fifty-five mile an hour speed limit. And Were you with your girlfriend and you farted in order to... <laughs> <laughs> no, <wait>. Never mind. <laughs> no. But I, w- I was driving down the highway and uh, my buddy like flew past me and I had an- another friend in my car and you know he was like, oh man, you're going to just let him do that? And I was driving a 1982 280ZX. Like, oh yeah, the 280. Mm. Yeah, yeah right. kind of like a sporty car. It's right. not really fast. Like, I just want people- It looks cool, you're right. but it's not fast. Right. Anyway, I was driving it and uh, I was I just pinned it. I just I didn't even know how fast I was going, literally mm-hmm. because the speedometer stops at eighty. Right, yeah. and I had it maxed out. Yeah, right. and I was trying to catch my friend, and my friend like cuts these cars off and like starts swerving. I'm like, I I ain't doing that. Like, and so I just let off the gas. Right, a cop comes flying by me with the lights on, just whoosh, stops and gets behind me. Oh, and I'm like, <laughs> oh man, like so I was like. This was probably the most terrified I've ever been because I'm like, I'm going to get arrested. I don't know how fast I was going flying down this road. Anyway, so he pulls over. He pulls me over, and I'm like super apologetic. By the way, if you get pulled over, yeah, just just, just be, apologize. just say I'm so sorry. I'm I'm an idiot. That's Sometimes one time, yeah. that doesn't work though. They are still yeah. just like, oh yeah, here's a two hundred fifty dollar ticket. Yeah, I haven't gotten that. Well, yeah, well, I, <laughs> the only time you don't up yourself, right? When you, <laughs> yeah, don't up yourself. Just slap them. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, so like, <laughs> in a way, like I, you know, when you're in that situation, you're like, man, I don't know. What, like that was stupid. Like. I was just, I was basically just didn't want to go to jail. Yeah. Is what I didn't right, want to happen. Right, right. And so the cop pulled me over. And like I said, I was like super apologetic. I was like, that was so stupid of me. I'm so sorry. Like, I know that that was dumb. Yeah, yeah. And the cop was like, do you even know how fast you were going? I said, no, sir. And he goes, <laughs> well, were you not paying attention? I was like, no, my, my speedometer only goes to 80 hours. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, Straight at least up. 80 yeah i was like i was like i don't know i, I just know i was going over 80 You're right <laughs> and he was like 
what? Like, he, <laughs> like you could tell on his face he'd never seen that kind of yeah. explanation yeah. before. Yeah. Right. I was just like, I just... I the funny know. thing is, like the, really the old Z models went up to 160. Yeah, so, but like, then you hit the 80s. Sense. Like it's not about the 80s cars; they only go up to 80, yeah. 85 or something. It's like they want to keep you from going too fast. Right. Like that worked. Yeah, like, I just didn't know. It's just, it. it's good they could sell the premium for the cars that had the full yeah. gauge. <laughs> well, well, like the cop said, you were going 95. Is what he said. And which, you know, people have gone that's faster. Fast, but yeah. that's, not, yeah. that's yeah. not horrific. But I was like, I don't know. I mean, I was close to 100. What was the speed limit? 55. Did okay. you go? Did you yeah. go? All right. <laughs> I was like, ah, just You're a little Almost short. there. <laughs> no. But he, okay, so I didn't get arrested. He just yeah. gave me a ticket, yeah. and it was it was, a, it was a heavy ticket. Like, it, yeah. it wiped me out pretty hard yeah. going what out was of high it? school. What was it? It's not like we have to keep this a secret anymore. <laughs> I well, I don't even remember, honestly. I just remember I had to pay for a lawyer. Mm. I had to pay for the ticket, which was, I think it was upwards of $500. Yeah. And then I had to pay, like, a, like I had to go to defensive driving and do community service. Oh, yeah. My they, they, word. So, they find, like, six different ways for you to have yeah. to pay them. Yeah. I mean, in a way, I probably should have just, like, spent the night in jail. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> got, got it over with. <laughs> I'd yeah. have been better off. But, yeah, I was, I was terrified. But you're talking about one-upping myself. So... I had to go home and explain this to my parents. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So this is so. Remember, if you remember back in seventh grade, I one upped myself and it worked really well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Well, you know. I was like, hey, it worked good then. Why not one up myself here? And so I was like, my honest, this is so stupid. I was so dumb. But honestly, I thought, hey, if I just tell my dad I did something worse, and then I say, no, I'm just kidding. It was only oh. this. That never works. It was, ever. <laughs> like, I, it was the dumbest idea I ever heard of. make him angry before you tell him something. That's exactly what happened. Never in the history of stupid. I, 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 my, this <laughs> was <laughs> ever worked. <laughs> exactly. And look, I, I, I remember to this day, I remember telling him, so I got a ticket. Um, or I, and he was like, what What happened? Like, he's like, what, what went on? I was like, well... I had possession of marijuana and I was speeding. Oh. <laughs> and he's like, what? I'm like, I'm just kidding. I was only speeding. Oh. <laughs> and he's like, how fast were you going? And I told him, he's like, he's just like, give me your keys. <laughs> and he, he didn't even like want to talk to me. I think he was going to yeah. kill me. Uh-huh. <laughs> he's like, he just walked away and I was like, oh yeah, I really screwed up here. <laughs> so yeah, that was an interesting day for me. Oh, that was a very man, interesting man. day in my life. Yeah. I so. feel like I have an uneventful life now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I've been in, I've actually been in three bad car accidents and all of them, nobody got hurt in. Well, yeah. I, I like scraped up my chin on one of them. Okay. Is that why you have a beard it. now? I actually, so believe it or not, this, uh, I was uh, 12 years old at that point in time. No, 13. No beard. And inside. yeah, <laughs> no, no facial hair. But I, when I scraped my chin, I, like, ended up with a big scab on my chin. It looked like I had a goatee. It actually was all right. That's nice. <laughs> I had a friend who uh, got his face, like, burnt all over from the airbag. Mm, yeah. Car. Have you ever seen that? I, I haven't seen Airbags a person. They're yeah. so violent. They, yeah. They're rough. This guy. Um, they smell so bad, too. Yeah, whatever, yeah. that sulfur. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The, this guy was in a uh, parking lot. I don't know why we're talking about this. But this guy was in a parking <laughs> lot waving to a, a pretty girl. Nice. And not looking and ran into a power pole. <laughs> <laughs> Totaled his car. That's oh, awesome. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Well oh, done. Man. Well done. I think that's going to wrap it for that. <laughs> yeah. this, is, this was meant to be a short podcast. Yes, yes. Just a little little midweek pick-me-up for you guys out there who needed a, a little little something. Yeah. So this is for you. This is for you hipsters. That's a wrap. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm not doing yeah. any outro stuff. Yeah, uh, I don't even know how I do music. Go look at the website. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're so lazy. Just cut it somewhere in there. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs>